one statement our Lord made while he was here on earth. It's found in the 19th chapter of Luke's gospel. It's verse number 10. I believe Jesus summarized his whole life in these 16 words. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. When I think about Christmas, when I think about the birth of God's Son, when I think about a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger, I think of the one who came to seek and to save that which was lost. You know, I'm glad he came. If he had not come, we'd have no hope. If he had not come, we'd have no peace. If he had not come, we'd have no joy. If he had not come, we'd know no salvation. But he came. And he came in compassion. This morning, we looked at John chapter 1 and verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld the glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He came. But he came on a mission with a message. And that mission was to seek us out. You know, the truth is, Paul said it this way, there's none that seeketh after God. Isaiah said it this way, we've all strayed and gone our own way. But he came. Why did he come? He come to seek you out. But the wonderful news of the Christmas birth is he can do more than just seek us out. He can save us. You may be here tonight and you don't know Christ as your Savior. Can I say to you that God came and God is seeking you. And if you'll trust him tonight, God will save you. That's the message of Christmas. That's the entire purpose for which God would become flesh and dwell among us so that he might seek us and save us. You may be here tonight and you've never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior. The good news of the gospel is if you'll believe, he'll receive. He'll receive you into his family. He'll birth you into his own through the new birth. Jesus said to Nicodemus in the third chapter of John, marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. One birth will not do it. One birth leads to two deaths, physical and eternal. But two births, physical and spiritual, leads to life and life everlasting. The good news of the gospel is he came and he came to seek and to save that which was lost. I remember that night for me, it was a Sunday night like this one. It was in the spring of 1970. I was sitting in the service and I came under conviction that I was a sinner. I would not be able to go to heaven on my own. And as a 10-year-old boy, I came to the reality I wouldn't go into heaven because my mom and dad were going to heaven. I couldn't be saved because my parents were saved. And that night and that service, the close of that invitation hour, I made my way down to an altar and a man knelt beside me. And he opened up the Bible. And he read one verse. He read Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that night, in simple faith, I called on Jesus to be my Savior. 
I trusted him that night, come into my heart and life. And I want to say to you tonight, I've never, ever regretted that decision. I'm glad that Jesus came. I'm glad that Jesus seeks. And all tonight, I rejoice that Jesus saves. Would you bow your heads with me and would you ponder with me a moment your eternity, your soul?